We're going to look now briefly at the version control features in the new version 6.5 Havoc Behavior Tool. Havoc Behavior Tool is a tool used for creating behaviors for game characters and uh, often you deal with quite a few assets uh, not only the animations but the actual behavior files that are created uh, that affect how those animations are blended and what kind of procedural motions or kind of physics or sensing is going on in the behavior as well as uh, various terrain uh, items uh, items like you see here in the background uh, either the um, the character itself or possibly even some of the uh, the physical items in the background here like boxes and things which are very easy to set up and can be brought in all of these are really considered to be part of a project and uh, you tend to want to control those and uh, usually uh, people use um, version control or source code management systems to do that so the havoc behavior tool version 6.5 has a full support for uh, the Perforce version control system and you have to remember when you're working in the tool actually to enable the version control uh, system through the checkbox to enable once you've done that it will uh, and you've configured uh, your hookup to via your client uh, to the server you'll be able to get all the information you need about what where the assets are in your project so I'm going to open up uh, all of the uh, folders here just to show you uh, this is a complete listing of everything I have in my project all of the files individual files that are being used in this particular project and um, each of the files shows its status if there's nothing there it means it's in good condition it's all checked in to the depot as we call it on the server uh, if it is not checked in uh, you will see see if I can find one some yellow uh, uh, exclamation points this means it's not in the depot that means it's just local on your machine the red checkout means it's on the depot and I've checked it out I've made some kind of change to it locally and I need to check it in and then the blue checkout indicates that it's checked out by someone else the green plus basically is an intermediate state that says you're preparing to check something into the depot but basically uh, in this particular view when you select on any one of the assets you get the complete history the versioning history of that asset according to the depot the asterisk reminds you that that, that file is checked out by you and if you potentially have the file version checked out older than the current one you'll be able to see that clearly and it'll be highlighted in yellow you can uh, check these files in or out very easily Actually, this is, I'm synced to version 1 here, that's what the asterisk means, and I can check that out and make modifications to that. Uh, this file right here, you can see um, there are two versions. I've actually got version 2, it's checked out. I can actually check that version in if I like and uh, put in a message uh, that's appropriate to that particular check-in and save that and we'll see that go into the depot and now we have our new update all of this is confirmed on the server live as you're working so um, at any time you can take any one of these files uh, right click on it for example say check it in and you'll see all the other files that have not yet been checked in so if you want to do a kind of a group check-in of a bunch of files all at the same time you can do that Just say this is another test and I'll check all those in together and it'll take just a moment to communicate that back to the server and now we're done you can see my icons update there uh, we have a very rich set of features so if you have uh, any uh, files for example that uh, you don't want to have uh, anymore you can actually delete them from the project and if they're on the server you can delete them as well you can rename uh, and you can um, undo uh, any kind of additions that you've made so there's quite a bit of functionality here there's even uh, a feature called check consistency which will comprehensively go through the entire list of assets that you have and uh, give you a diagnostic box back that indicates uh, which files are either uh, not found or are out of sync and presents you with various options for uh, resolving those problems. So that's just a little peek at the version control features coming in the 6.5 release. Thank you.